Hey everybody, we're going to create a dynamic group here in Azure AD. We went in and just created a 30-day trial. Get logged in with your trial account. And over on the left, you can click on Azure Active Directory. And then you see we have groups here. So you can click on groups. And if you want to create a group up on the top, you'll notice without a premium subscription, you'll be able to create a security and 0365 group. But your membership type will only be assigned. So what we want to do is we want to get a dynamic group in here that we can actually associate an attribute to. So let's go do that. So back over here in Azure Active Directory, uh, we'll come down here and we're going to be taking a look at conditional access. Now conditional access is based off of premium features. So if you come in and click on it, you'll notice up here we can go out and get a premium trial to use for this feature. Essentially what we'll do is we can actually latch an 0365. So we're pretty much going to add both of these features in here for later. A free trial of EMS and then of course right, a free trial of Azure Premium AD. All right, as you just click on the free trial, just go in and activate them. And then it'll give you a 30 day uh, from this point. You'll just have to give it probably a little bit of time for these features to show up within your portal. All right, so after a few minutes, we'll refresh the browser, and then we'll come up here and create our security group. I right, give it a name, Sales. And then as we refresh, you'll see now, based off our premium feature, we have now dynamic groups, which will create a dynamic user group, which uses these queries. So we'll add a dynamic query based off a simple rule where the extensions or attributes are already given to you. What we'll do here is we'll look for scrolling up all right, the department All right, attribute will contain sales. And we'll just add that query in down here and create that. All right, so now we have that group created. We can close this blade and we'll go back to the user blade. So we'll just close out back to the user blade. And we'll go ahead and create a user. All right, so up here we're going to create a new user. All right, Tammy, and of course, all right, her login will be Tam. Now, the thing that we have to think about here when we do this is using the full tenant name or the domain name you bring in later. So let's go over and uh, get what our domain name is. All right, so close user out, and over here under your Azure Active Directory blade again, become an Azure Active Directory down here, you'll see you have pretty much your custom domain names so as you bring in your trial your tenant right based off this it took this as my domain name now later I'll bring in a real domain name but as of right now people to log in people will log in under this domain name up here so let's take that name copy and go back to our user I right, go up and create our new user for Tammy and then we'll have her log in here now you can set up a profile for this user All right, if you want to, you know, some profile information based on what's going to be added in. And it does not like this, so we have to put the at symbol in there. And of course there's properties we can add into her account. All right, you see that this is creating up here in Azure Active Directory and synchronized with an on-premise domain. And we can immediately add her into a group. So if we add assigned groups, we can add her in assigned. We're going to put the attribute in her name to have her show up automatically, dynamically. And, of course, we can also assign roles out to this user based on just being a standard user as of now. Well, this was damn at lab class, right? So I learn from my mistakes. And we'll create that user. Once we successfully create the user, let's go into Tammy. And then down here under her profile, which we can either click on the, the hub or the tile. We'll just come down here and populate her department to be sales. And then we'll just click in the white space and save that setting. And we'll give it a little bit of time and then she'll show up in that group. All right, so after a few minutes, we'll go back to Azure Active Directory. We'll go over to our group, and we created this group based of a dynamic attribute. You can see over here the membership type is dynamic. We'll go into the sales group, and you'll see we have a member. Member should be, again, the user we just created, Tammy, who, again, has that attribute 
on her. Very good. Next, we'll go into an enterprise app and we'll add the group in to get automatic access to the application.